Hi, my name is Trevor, and this is a talk about High Glass Python, a programmable genome browser for linked interactive visualization and exploration of genomics data. High Glass is a web-based application designed for the visualization of 1D and 2D genomics data. It provides smooth navigation via continuous zoom and pan and interactions that include flexible view configuration. High Glass contains separate views that describe the visual surface of the web browser as well as views that can be linked together seamlessly. Highglass has a very extensive API for flexibly linking these different views, um, either by pan and zoom interactions or zoom interactions. And together, these can create very sophisticated interfaces for exploring separate data sets within a single view. The overall picture of Highglass or any genome browser is some model where data lives on some server, and then there is a web client which loads this data on demand. This is the goal. Highglass is implemented as a client-server architecture that separates different concepts of this model into different pieces that are either handled by the server or the client. Tilesets is a server-based abstraction for efficient multi-resolution genomic data, which can be provisioned to the viewer. View configs complete configurations and arrangement of the view state based off of the JSON schema. And tracks are visual implementations in the actual viewer. Historically, these modular components were previously tied together within the primary high glass browser and application and not exposed to users or third party developers. High glass Python changes this. High glass Python is a scriptable genome browser. To get started, you just pip install high glass Python. At its core, high glass Python exposed a simplified Python API to get started with high glass. No, you no longer need to start with a Docker container or move your data around to be able to use high glass. Just open a Jupyter Notebook and load your data. Beyond these core features, Highglass Python comes with additional features that allow for more seamless and tighter integration within the Python ecosystem and allow you to flexibly interchange data, whether it be from remote servers or on your local machine. For example, this demo includes two different tile sets, one referencing a local data set and one re referencing a remote server, and they are used interchangeably in the code. And then later, views that are constructed from these tile sets can be linked in a single line, allowing for simple pan and zoom interactions of data sets that are federated and live in separate places. So beyond this core high glass application, high glass Python really is the software developer kit that exposes these backend functionalities to both Python developers, as well as uh, data scientists to be able to explore and visualize in one and two D genomics data. A traditional high glass visualization allows coordination between other genome browsers or other high glass views. However, with the tight integration into Python, users can extend high glass to link the genome browser with other representations of the genome. The tight integration with Python and Jupyter allow for bi-directional linking of a genome browser within external notebook components and other stateful widgets, such as scatter plots, charts, or drop-down menus. For example, here we can link high glass Python to multiple scatter plots containing single loci projections of individual genomic loci. Here we have five separate stages of hepatic cell differentiation, which we can link back to the original genomic context. Points selected in the scatter plot that correspond to individual loci are highlighted in the genome browser track and vice versa. This feature isn't available in most genome browsers, and because we're integrated into the Jupyter and Python ecosystem, it's easy to extend high glass for custom tailored interfaces that enable the exploration of the genome in novel contexts.